Al al Bayt Arabic, Al al Bayt Persian, Ali Bayt, also Al al Bayt or Alul Bayt, is a phrase meaning, literally, people of the house, or family of the house. Within the Islamic tradition, the term refers to the family of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. In Shia Islam, the Al al Bayt are central to Islam and interpreters of the Quran and Sunnah. Shias believe they are successors of Muhammad and consist of Muhammad, Fatima, Ali, Hassan, and Husayn, known collectively as the Al Al Qisa, people of the mantle, and the rest of the Imams from the fourteen infallibles. There are differing opinions on the scope and importance of Al Al Bayt. In Sunni Islam, Muhammad's household refers to Muhammad himself, his wives and daughters, including Fatima, his cousin and son-in-law Ali, and their two sons, Hassan and Husayn. In the interpretation of certain traditions the term may also be extended to include the descendants of Muhammad's paternal uncles, Abu Talib and al-Abbas, or according to Malik ibn Anas and Abu Hanifa, all of the Banu Hashim. Meaning In this topic, the word al-al-bayt is treated base on the Quranic verse, in line with the commentary. To sum up, the meaning of al al bayt in the Quran follows the accepted usage of the term in pre- and post-Islamic Arab society. It denotes family and blood relations as well as a noble and leading house of the tribe. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The term al signifies the members of a household of a man, including his fellow tribesmen, kin, relatives, wife or wives, children, and all those who share a family background, religion, housing, city, and country with him. Bait refers to habitation and dwelling, whether tented or built. It can also be roughly translated as household. The al al bait of a person refers to his family members and all those who live in his house. Al al bayt is the polite form of addressing the members and wife of the family. Topic in the Quran. The Quran uses the term al al bayt twice as a term of respect for wives. The first instance refers to Muhammad's wives, Quran 33 to 33, and the second refers to Abraham's wife Sarah, Quran 11 to 73. According to some interpretations, the Quran also implicitly refers to all al bayt in 42 to 23, using the term al kurba Topic: <laughs> Interpretation. There has been much debate concerning which people constitute all al bayt. Although there have been many disagreements, there is a consensus amongst Sunni and Shia Muslims that the Al Al Qisa hadith refers specifically to Ali, Fatima, Hassan, and Husayn. Mention of the Al Al Bayt, Muhammad's household, is present in a verse of the Quran as follows O wives of the Prophet, you are not like any other of the women, if you will be on your guard, then be not soft in your speech, lest he in whose heart is a disease yearn, and speak a good word, and stay in your houses and do not display your finery like the displaying of the ignorance of your, and keep up prayer, and pay the poor rate, and obey Allah and his messenger. Allah only desires to keep away the uncleanness from you, O people of the house, and to purify you a thorough purifying, and keep to mind what is recited in your houses of the communications of Allah and the wisdom, surely Allah is knower of subtleties, aware. The precise definition of the term in this verse has been subject to varying interpretations. In one tradition, according to which Muhammad's companion Salman al-Farsi is included as a member, it is used to distinguish from the Mahahiran Muslim emigrants from Mecca and Ansar Medinan converts to Islam. According to Sunni doctrine, the term includes the wives and dependents of Muhammad, as it addresses them in the preceding verse, an interpretation which is attributed to Abd Allah ibn Abbas and Ikrimah ibn Abi Jal, both of whom were companions of Muhammad. This is supported by various traditions attributed to Muhammad wherein he addresses each of his wives as al al bayt Further members of the household, according to the Sunni perspective, include Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Husayn, who are mentioned in the tradition of the mantle. Some versions of this tradition recognize Umm Salama, a wife of Muhammad, as a part of the household. Thus, according to the Encyclopedia of Islam, the current orthodox view is based on a harmonizing opinion, according to which the term al al bayt includes the al al ab, i.e. the Prophet, Ali, Fatima, al Hassan, and al Hussein, together with the wives of the Prophet. According to Laura Vecha Vaglieri in Encyclopedia of Islam, 
There is a story narrated in many traditions according to which Muhammad sheltered under his cloak, in varying circumstances including the Mubahala, his grandchildren Hassan and Hussein, his daughter Fatima and his son-in-law Ali, and therefore it is these five who are given the title Al-Al-Kisa or People of the Mantle. Some have attempted to add Muhammad's wives to the list, however, the number of the privileged is limited to these five. Other interpretations include the family of Ali, as well as the families of Muhammad's relatives such as Akil, Jafar, and Al Abbas. Early Islamic jurists Malik ibn Anas and Abu Hanifa included the clan of Banu Hashim within the definition, while al Shafi'i included the whole of Banu Mutalib. In Shia thought, the household is limited to Muhammad, Fatima, Ali, Hassan, Husayn, and their descendants, altogether known as the Al Al Qisa, as per their deduction from the tradition of the mantle. They interpret the change in pronoun in the Quranic verse as showing that only the aforementioned members constitute all al bayt Madeline writes that, "...this change of gender has inevitably contributed to the birth of various accounts of a legendary character, attaching the latter part of the verse to the five people of the mantle." Shias view these individuals as infallible and sinless imams and regard devotion to them as an essential part of the religion. Shia Muslims also support this claim with a hadith mentioned in the Sunni Sahih collection. Many Sunni scholars remark that the verse of purification was revealed concerning five people Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan, and Husayn. Aisha reported that Allah's Apostle may peace be upon him went out one morning wearing a striped cloak of the black camel's hair that there came Hassan b. Ali. He wrapped him under it, then came Husayn and he wrapped him under it along with the other one Hassan. Then came Fatima and he took her under it, then came Ali and he also took him under it and then said, Allah only desires to take away any uncleanliness from you, O people of the household, and purify you thorough purifying. The tradition about this hadith goes from different sources to Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad. She narrated that once her father visited her home, he had fever and was not feeling well, he asked for a Yemeni cloak which Fatima brought to him and folded it around him. Later he was joined in that Yemeni cloak by his grandsons Hassan and Hussein, who were followed by their father Ali ibn Abi Talib, who was cousin and son-in-law of Muhammad. Finally Fatima asked the permission to enter that cloak. When all five of them joined together under the cloak, Muhammad narrated the Quranic verse 33-33 to those under the cloak that all five of them are chosen ones, and he further stated that he wants God to keep all impurities out of reach and away from all of us. Muhammad then prayed to God to declare all five of them as his alul bait and keep away the najasat impurities. God, at that request immediately sent Gabriel Jibril to reveal to Muhammad that all the five under the cloak are dearest and closest to God and they are Tahir purest of the pure. Without any traces of impurities, the Twelver and Ismaili branches of Shia Islam differ in regards to the line of imamate. While the Twelver believe in a lineage known as the Twelve Imams, the Ismaili believe that the descendants of Ismail ibn Jafar, rather than his brother Musa al-Qadim, were the inheritors of the imamate instead. According to Anas ibn Malik, Muhammad, for six months straight used to pass by the door of Fatima whenever he left for farj prayers and said, it is time for Salat, of family of the house Ail al surely Allah desires to remove all imperfection from you, of family of the house, and purify you completely." From Surah al azab 33, verse 33, Sunan al-Tirmidhi Vol. 2 Sahih 902 Most, but not all Shia believe that these Amma to be the divinely chosen leaders of the Muslim community. This is based on the Hadith, "...people of the cloak." Where the Prophet referred to only Fatima, Ali, Hassan, Hussein, and himself, stating that wives were not part of the al al bayt because they could be divorced and were no longer part of the household when their husband died, a hadith which many Sunni Muslims believe in. Collectively, Muhammad, Fatima, and the Twelve Imams are known as the Fourteen Infallibles. In Kitab al Kafi, Imam Muhammad al Bakir has narrated that there will be twelve Imams from the family of Muhammad, nine from the family of Husayn ibn Ali, the last being al Qa'im, and they will be spoken to by angels. <laughs> <laughs> Significance Muslims accord Muhammad's household a special status and venerate it. This is derived from verses in the Quran and Hadith which stipulate love towards Muhammad's relatives, though in some cases interpretations differ, an example being, Say, no reward do I ask of you for this except the love of those near of kin. 
According to classical exegete Al-Tabarani, 260 to 360 A, 873 to 970 CE, the verse most likely refers to Muslim believers related by blood ties. Another interpretation adopted by Shia applies the verse to the Al Al Bayt, while another view interprets the verse as commanding love for relatives in general. The latter view is favored by contemporary academic scholar Madeline. Sharia Islamic law prohibits the administration of sadaqah charity or zakat tax to Muhammad's kin, including the Banu Hashim, as Muhammad forbade this income for himself and his family. The explanation given by jurists is that these alms are considered the defilements of the people, who offer them to purify themselves from sin, hence it would be unbecoming of the kin to handle or use them. Instead, they are accorded part of the spoils of war. Muslims in their daily prayers invoke blessings upon them by saying, O oh God, bless Muhammad and his family. In many Muslim communities, high social status is attributed to people claiming to be blood descendants of Muhammad's household, and are labeled Sayyids or Sharifs. Most Sunni Sufi circles trace their spiritual chain back to Muhammad through Ali. In Shia thought, Muhammad's household is central to the religion. In one version of Muhammad's farewell sermon, he is represented as saying that God has given believers two safeguards, the Quran and his family. In other versions, the two safeguards are the Quran and his Sunnah, statements and actions of Muhammad. Popular Shia belief ascribes cosmological importance to the family in various texts, wherein it is said that God would not have created Jannah, heaven, and earth, paradise, Adam and Eve, or anything else were it not for them. The majority of Shia regard the heads of the family as divinely chosen imams who are infallible and sinless. See also Family tree of Muhammad Bani Sheba Banu Hashim Banu Quraysh Banu Kinana Hashemite Disposini, a Christian analogue referring to the brothers of Jesus Topic. Notes Topic. References Madeling, Wilford The Succession to Muhammad, A Study of the Early Caliphate. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-64696-3. Ordoni, Abu Muhammad, Muhammad Kazim Kazwini Fatima the Gracious. Ansarian Publications. ASIN B00OBWQ7N6. Tahir ul Qadri, Muhammad. 2006. Virtues of Sayyidah Fatima. Minaj ul Quran Publications. ISBN 978 969 32 0225 0. Triton, A. S., Goldziher, I., Arendonk, C. Van. Al al Bayt. In P. J. Behrman, T. H. Bianchi, C. E. Bosworth, E. Van Donzel, W. P. Heinrichs. Encyclopedia of Islam Online. Brill Academic Publishers. ISSN 1573-3912. External links I.K.A. Howard, Al Al Bayt in Encyclopedia Iranica. Shia Related Shia Viewpoint all Al Bayt, its meaning and origin. Sunni related interactive family tree of Muhammad saw by Happy Books.